Good afternoon, I'm Vince Petrano. An update this afternoon on the condemned condo building in Waukesha. Today, folks who live there have just a few hours to move out. All the stuff inside from a building that could fall down at any moment. Our Uba Ali is live from Waukesha this afternoon with that story. Uba, how are things going out there? Things pretty quiet so far, Vince, but it's been a week since residents were evacuated and told that the building could collapse at any moment. 65 residents were left displaced and scrambling to find a new place to call home. Today, like I mentioned, things quiet. Some folks just showed up, and I'm told that the first resident that signed up to begin moving out uh, begins. That person will be showing up at 1 o'clock. Now, a resident tells me that could be for many different reasons, one being that they were told about the ability to go back into the building late last night. Saturday folks had about 10 minutes to get essential items, but today they have four hours to get more items. Only three units can be inside at a time, and each unit can have up to seven guests to help. And to ensure safety, there is a sign-up sheet for residents, so there is no overlapping. Beyond moving, residents are stressed about what happens next. A lot of unanswered questions, such as will residents have to pay for the demolition of the building? And simply, what will folks that have mortgages do? Will they still have to pay for those mortgages? Like I said, a lot of unanswered questions. Now, residents have until 11 a.m. December on December 24th, Christmas Eve, to gather all their belongings. And after that, they won't be allowed to go back in here. So a very stressful situation for these homeowners, Vince. But one thing that really caught my attention here is that there is a sign over my right shoulder. It says, God is good, encouraging words for these homeowners that have to leave a place that they've called home for several years. For some, I just spoke to a lady that said she's lived here for 30 years and it's hard to walk away, but she says it's bittersweet and she's glad that the building did not collapse. For now, live in Waukesha, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News. Yeah, that's interesting, Uba. We focused a lot on the financial aspect, but hadn't thought about that part of it as well for those folks who live there. Thank you. The problems began on June 27th of 2019 when strong winds damaged a balcony on the Horizon West building. That exposed existing structural damage. A year later, the fire department ordered all of the balconies removed. For months, nothing happened. On November 30th of last year, the Condo Association asked for an extension. Another year passed in November of 2021. That's when balcony removal began, but that revealed major structural issues to the building. On November 24th, an inspector wrote a report finding the building's structural columns are, quote, compromised. A week later, the city of Waukesha realized the extent of the problem and ordered everyone out of the building. The condo faced a, quote, imminent threat of collapse. Because of the speed of the evacuation, many condo owners are worried they could be out thousands of dollars if their insurance claims are not accepted. Uba talked about that briefly. An expert we talked with said if the condo building would have just collapsed, like the recent case in Miami, it would have triggered an insurance payout. But since the building in Waukesha is still standing, the condo unit owners could be left with little recourse. 